The Russian military is testing the first prototypes of its next-generation S-500 surface-to-air missile system. The weapon is an upgraded S-400 system capable of destroying intercontinental ballistic missiles, spacecraft, hypersonic cruise missiles and airplanes at speeds of higher than Mach 5. The S-500 is expected to be much more capable than the current S-400 Triumph. Its response time is only 3 to 4 seconds while the response time of S-400 is 9 to 10 seconds. The S-500 would be able to detect and simultaneously engage up to 10 ballistic supersonic targets flying at a speed of 5 km per second to a limit of 7 km per second. It also aims at destroying hypersonic cruise missiles and spacecraft at speeds of higher than Mach 5. The altitude of target engaged can be as high as 200 kilometers. It is effective against ballistic missiles with a launch range of 3,500 kilometers. It makes the system capable of defeating ballistic missiles before their warheads re-enter atmosphere. The system will have new radio communications systems that are unrivaled in terms of quality, data transmission distance and stealth. Five batteries of S-500 missiles are planned to be in service by 2020. The S-500 will work with S-400 and will replace S-300 air defense missiles. United States defense officials believe that the best stealth warplanes in the Pentagon's arsenal will not be effective against the S-500. The system is so capable that many U.S. defense officials worry that even stealth warplanes like the F-22, F-35 and the B-2 might have problems overcoming them. It's not often that a relatively inexpensive air defense weapon is able to make a trillion dollar fighter program obsolete. That's exactly what the S-500 missile system will do to U.S. brand new F-35 stealth fighter. The F-35 is known to have advanced electronics to enhance its jamming capability. But S-500 system is designed to overcome countermeasures and stealth, using larger and more powerful radars that are highly resistant to jamming. Given its extremely long range and effective electronic warfare capabilities, the S-500 is a game-changing weapon that challenges current military capabilities at the operational level of war. This system is unique and unparalleled in the world. To counter the missile threat to its carriers, the Americans are relying on the F-35 as a cruise missile killer. More than a trillion dollars have already been spent on this troubled project. Even if the F-35 is able to miraculously overcome its shortcomings, S-500 append this strategy. It has many features specifically designed to overcome countermeasures and stealth, such as a larger, more powerful radars that are more resistant to jamming. It also actually has a set of missiles of varying range that provide overlapping layers of defense. There's another way the S-500 degrades the F-35's availability. Fourth generation aircraft such as the Su-30 and MiG-29 have aluminium bodies, but stealth aircraft have composite bodies with special radar absorbing coating that requires several hours to apply. For each hour of flight, the F-35 requires 9 to 12 hours of maintenance, but that's in normal flight. Wear and tear will be of a higher degree during evasive maneuvers that are inevitable if trying to shake off an S-500 radar lock, that's if the F-35 has enough time to react to the missile in the first place. Not only does the stealthy skin require new repair techniques, but extensive skin damage will necessitate repairs of Lockheed's land-based facilities. The F-35's backers say the aircraft can emit frequencies which can confuse and disable the S-500. But the U.S. Navy's acquisition of Growler jamming aircraft suggests the F-35's jamming capability is not really all that it's hyped up to be. If you are an F-35 pilot, here's a piece of advice. Stay out of range. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons and check out our other videos.